We will be gathering at the fourth province convocation to continue the process of renewing the province mission. Our convocation theme is, we are one, we are strong, on fire still. We take this opportunity to reaffirm our commitment as missionaries in and through community. And as we do, we keep in mind our brother oblates who are not able to attend this convocation. We also keep in mind our many friends, benefactors, and collaborators throughout the United States and beyond. Our many associates, employees, honorary oblates, partners, donors, who also experience the call to belong to a church at the service of the poor. We are a blessed group of people because we share in a unique way the inspiration of our founder, St. Eugene de Mazenod. De Mazenod was an innovative young priest with a heart for the poor, seeking to see them, as he said, through the eyes of the crucified Savior. His vision eventually embraced the whole world. Let's listen to some familiar words as if for the first time, the call of Jesus Christ heard within the church through people's need for salvation draws us together as missionary oblates of Mary Immaculate. Our mission is especially to those people whose condition cries out for salvation and for the hope which only Jesus Christ can fully bring. We will always be close to the people with whom we work, taking into account their values and aspirations. Charity embraces everything, and whenever necessary for new needs, it invents new means. Our own moment in history is just as complex as the post-revolutionary France of our Founders' time. Our contemporary sisters and brothers also feel abandoned. We are challenged to search out and bring the light and liberation of the good news of Jesus Christ to those in our world whom society counts as nothing, expendable, worthless. We should not be surprised that our mistreatment of humanity often goes hand in hand with our mistreatment of God's creation. We need to see that we truly evangelize through our actions on behalf of justice peace, and the integrity of creation. As oblates and as friends and collaborators of oblates, we are blessed with a special set of ears which hear the cry of the poor. It is in hearing the call of Jesus heard in the church in the voices of the poor and abandoned that we also recognize more fully our own need for salvation and are over and over again evangelized by the poor we attempt to serve. Not unlike the first oblates who left their security to answer the cry of the poor in new situations, the field that lies before us is vast. We too give our lives to this worthy and holy mission. Where now is the Lord Jesus calling us? Can we revitalize the oblate presence in the United States and beyond. God's power makes us confident as we strive to bring all people, especially the poor, to full consciousness of their dignity as human beings and as sons and daughters of God.
When we look again at the world and its people, hear their cry, and respond with daring and hope, I believe that the renewal, and yes, the refounding of our oblate life in this province and beyond will happen. In 2016, the congregation will celebrate its 200th anniversary. Our Superior General calls us to be intentional about the revitalization of the congregation to make a conscious choice to live, thrive, and be a vibrant missionary body inspired by St. Eugene's charism. The poor with their many faces, to these we give our preference, just as does the church within which we serve. May the fourth province convocation be a blessing for each and every one of us. And may we share that blessing with our many friends, benefactors, and collaborators.